Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I will be giving you guys the new best settings that I have. I've been trying them out and they work like crazy. So yeah, be sure to use code Zenter in the Fortnite item shop. This is the best way to support me. And also be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now, before we get into the setting, I want to show you guys some gameplay and I want to try to get a win actually. So let's hop in the game, try to get a win with these settings to show you guys how good these settings are. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Let's go. Alright. Alright, let's land here. Yup. Let's go. What is he trying to do, bro? Honestly. Okay, I can hear some more footsteps. Guys, this is why you need to have footsteps. Look, you can see where people are, like I say. Just look. Drum gun. Oh my god, we need that. Lee. Drum gun with a scope, though. I don't know about this one. I hate the snipers without a scope, bro. Like, it's so weird. What the heck was going on there? Let's go. Oh my god. He's confused, bro. He's confused, bro. Let's go. Bro, what the? Let's go. Yep. Oh my god, that was nasty, bro. Nah, that was nasty. <laughs> Yo. Nah, it looks like it looks cooler when I snipe somebody with this one, bro. But I don't like it that much. I really don't, to be honest. The sniper is a. Uh... No, where is he going? I need to follow that guy. Where'd he go? Where's this guy going? Go. Nah, we're crazy. We're crazy. We're actually crazy. Yep. Oh, these snipe, bro. The snipes on the these settings are crazy. Nah, that's crazy, man. Get the whip ready, you know what I'm saying? Yo, chill, chill. Holy chill. Yeah, he's done. He's done. 
You're done. Oh my god. He had medallions as well. Come on. How's my guy teleporting, man? 51. Yeah, it's game. It's game for him. It's game. I actually think so. Yup, it's over for him. Let's go. What was that, guys? 14 kills? I don't even know. Let's go, guys. These are the best settings. You guys saw the snipes. You guys saw the kills. All right, but yeah, let's get right into these settings. So starting off, you want to be sure you have your brightness on 100%. And be sure you have your colorblind mode on Tritinope and colorblind strength on 10. This is the reason to why my game looks so good. As you guys can see right here on the right side, it shows how you will see the guns and stuff like that. It looks very bright and it looks really good. And a lot of you guys also have been asking me how my game looks like it does. So yeah, this is the secret guys. So yeah, and uh, be sure you have power saving mode on off and this on disabled. Now for the volume settings, there isn't really much to be said. Um, I have music off. This is personal preference. It's better for making content so music doesn't, you know, annoy me while talking. And yeah, voice chat, sometimes I change this. Just leave it as it is on default. If you guys want to change something, just go ahead and do that. But what is really important in this tab is visual sound effects. As you guys saw in the gameplay, I just showed you guys. It showed me on my screen wherever people were shooting from and stuff like that, which is really, really efficient. And yeah, it helped me win the game. So yeah, be sure to have visual sound effects on on. Now, all of this, if you guys need this, go ahead. Now, matchmaking region, I have this on Europe because this is where I live. Be sure to put the matchmaking region on wherever is best for you, like wherever you live. Like I said, I live in Europe, so it's on Europe. If you live in the NA East, NA West, go ahead and put it on that. Now toggle sprint, I have this on on and auto open doors, I have this on on as well. The reason I have auto open doors on on is because let's say I accidentally edit a door, I can instantly get out of it. So yeah, this has been helping me a lot. So yeah, I would recommend auto open doors on on. And mantle activation and hurdle activation, both on jump especially with my binds which i will be getting into later in the video but yeah press jump is the best in my opinion if you guys need this go ahead but preferred item slot um guys this is personal preference but let me just show you guys how i have it so i have my smg here my shotgun here my ar here and then a mini and a medkit just for instance but the reason i have it like this is because I can shoot my shotgun instantly go to the SMG and shoot my shotgun instantly go to the AR. I like the way this is like it is very easy for me to switch between the guns. So yeah, if you guys like the way I have it, you guys can go ahead and copy it. Now getting down here to auto confirm edits, you want to be sure you have this on both. This makes you edit instantly and makes you 10 times faster at editing. Um, so yeah, and especially with my binds, which I will be getting into later in the video this is the best you can have it on because with my binds you literally only have to do this to edit like edit select and confirm and edit and reset like this it's super super fast and very easy i will be showing you guys later in the video likes and if you guys need any of this go ahead fov i just have this on the default um there was like a, a myth that this was going to be like the fov like on your screen but it's only when sprinting and it doesn't really do anything when sprinting. So yeah, I would just keep this on the default. Now getting over here, I have my damage numbers on list and my damage number scale on 125%. This is personal preference guys, but I like the way this looks like I like the way it's on list like when I shoot somebody and the damage number scale is 125%, which is the max. So whenever I hit like a headshot or anything, it shows me clearly on my screen how much I've hit them for, which I think is very clean. So yeah, if you guys want that as well, be sure to put this on 125%.
Now HUD scale, I have my HUD scale on 70%. The reason for this is because Fortnite automatically puts it on 100%, which is way too big in my opinion. And anything under below 70 is way too small. So I feel like 70 is just perfect. If you guys need any of this, go ahead. Now gyro aiming, I don't have this on on. I would not recommend it because almost no pro players use this. Um, unless you like only play creative, it's you can get really good at this. But I would just not recommend it, guys, because you have to move your controller like this. And I would rather just use the joystick because this is what all the other guys do. So yeah, I would recommend you don't have this on on. Now getting here, I have controller auto run on build it immediately on Builder Pro, of course. Now vibration, I don't have vibration on on. The reason for this is because my control would just vibrate every time I'm getting hit and stuff like that which is not very uh, comfortable in my opinion. And I've heard like it can mess with your aim as well, which I'm not sure about, but I would just not risk it or recommend it either. So yeah, just have this on off. Getting down here to my sensitivity, which you guys have been waiting for. I'm gonna show you guys my sensitivity. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So starting off, I have my build mode sensitivity on 1.5 and edit mode sensitivity on 1.9. And getting down here you want to be sure you have advanced options on on because or else my settings will not work so yeah be sure to put this on on getting down here i have my look horizontal speed on 46 percent and my look vertical speed on 46 percent too this has been working very well for me recently so yeah i would really recommend this um sensitivity uh look horizontal and vertical speed so yeah and these two both on zero Getting down here to my ADS look horizontal and ADS look vertical, I have them both on 10%. Like said, this has been working very well for me recently, so yeah, I would really recommend this. And these two on zero. Getting down here, it is linear uh, settings, so yeah, be sure to put this on linear or else you could mess up the settings, so yeah, be sure to put this on linear. Aim assist strength, I have this on 100%. Of course, why would you not have this on 100%? I would really recommend it. Now getting down to my dead zone, my dead zone is on 13% on both sticks. I've never experienced stick drift since having this on 13%. So I, uh, I really recommend it. Now getting to my binds, which you guys have been waiting for, I will first go over the most important things in my binds and why I've changed them the way I have. And after that, I will be showcasing all of my binds so you guys can copy them one for one. Make sure that you have everything correct so jump on right stick on crouch on b i've switched around jump and crouch reason for this is because you jump a lot more when you build and in a fight and stuff like that and it's not like it's hard to press the crouch button but like it's very inconsistent if jump was on b because you have to take your finger off the sticks every time you are jumping uh you are building and uh yeah it's just not very good now the other stuff i wanted to show you guys is in the editing section like I said to you guys, I edit on this button right here, and then I select on this and confirm on this. And to reset, I just press this and this. It's very, very easy, guys, and very, very straightforward. If you guys get used to this, you'll become so good at editing, so yeah. Yeah, one more thing was that I sprint on right D-pad. If I do not mention this, you guys will ask it in the comments. So how I sprint is not like this, it's, it's not possible to sprint like this. So I just move forward and press it like this. So yeah, I hope that will help. So yeah, now I'm going to be showing you guys the rest of my binds so you guys can copy them one for one. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these settings will help you guys get better at Fortnite because it definitely did help me. But yeah, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and use code Zenter in the Fortnite item shop. Like I said, this is the best way to support me and I really appreciate it. If you guys were curious on the accessories used in this video on my controller, I have the LED charger cable and the Play Vital thumb cushion caps. It is linked in the description. So yeah, you guys can check them out. I also have a discount code on their website. 
So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and peace out.